Hi, I'm Alex Paulton. and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Talking Time Pieces. Today I've got a nice, uh, rare, and unusual piece. It's not an actual watch per se, but it is a stopwatch, uh, which is close enough. This is an authentic World War II era aircraft navigator's watch. Uh, called a navigation ground speed stopwatch type A8. The uh, watches were made by uh, a bunch of different manufacturers, um, Waltham and uh, a couple of others, but this one was made by uh, Elgin. Uh, this one, uh, the Type A8 stopwatches were used by navigators, bombers, and the like transports uh, because they needed to know how fast they were going. They would reference uh, landmarks and time them for ground speed. And uh, when you're dropping bombs, uh, you can also um, do other uh, things for you know judging altitude and such. So having an accurate uh, timing device is critical. Now, there were two types of uh, type A8 stopwatches. Um, they had to have uh, 15 joules in them in what they called the continuous operation mode. And they had to have nine joules if they were a uh, non-continuous. Now what continuous and non-continuous means is in the, in the case of this one being continuous, when you hit the uh, pusher, it, it, the watch is already running. It's not starting when you hit the uh, pusher. The pusher just releases the hand. So in uh, the case of this watch, once you wind it, it will run until the mainspring runs out. The um, Under the military specification, MIL W6510, um, they basically specify the jewel number in the continuously running watches to ensure that they uh, were of a quality and durability because uh, jewels are the are used in the pivot points in the mechanism so by specifying a certain minimum number of uh, protected pivot points within the mechanism they were able to uh, you know help establish the quality level required now this is also unusual in that it is a 10 second stopwatch it shows the time uh in, instead of a, a, your standard stopwatch that uh, shows a full minute on its dial, this shows a 10-second sweep on the dial, and then it has 10-second uh, subsections. Subsections. So uh, you could act, you can actually t time 10 minutes in 10-second intervals on this watch with the uh, accumulant the cumulative uh, reading off of the uh, small dial the uh, sub dial. Now I'm going to wind this up and I'm going to hold it while I'm winding. I'm going to hold it up to the uh, microphone for a second so you can just hear the mechanism. And uh, the watch's uh, nickname was the Jitterbug. The reason they called it the Jitterbug was because uh, it was, um, yeah, literally made like a really, really high, very high speed ticking noise. I don't know if you guys and gals out there can hear that. So it actually has a really, really fast beat. But then, um, considering that it's 40 beats a second, that's the fastest beat uh, you're going to see outside of a uh, tuning fork mechanism in a bulova or a um, quartz mechanism. Even uh, the new Zenith uh, oscillating mechanism is only 15 cycles a second. This is 40. So now I'm going to hit the stopwatch. And you see how it just jumps, leaps, and that's such a beautiful sweep. Uh, too bad they didn't leave the whole hand blued, but I know that the uh, pointer end is dipped in some kind of loom, which is dead now. But see how beautiful that blued metal is from the hand. You know, almost wish that uh, it wasn't... Uh, dipped on the other end but obviously the antique loom on the end shows that it's still vintage and uh, you see how the timer is counting so you can get uh, you can actually do um, reasonably long uh, timer periods with this and because of its high speed rate and its large um, 
display area uh, for seconds and subseconds because since of course it's a 10 second uh, face it's more it's it's a more um, clean subdivision you can eyeball uh, much tighter you could almost go to a decimal uh, looking at the um, sweep of the watch but this beautiful piece uh, made by Elgin and uh, yeah, the back does hinge, but it's actually uh, it's frozen in place. I did have a jeweler uh, take it off, and it's blank inside, so it's not that you're missing out on anything. Uh, but this is a really beautiful piece. It's mono pusher design, of course, um, and it's just a piece of history, and it's an incredibly beautiful piece of machinery, considering uh, it dates from the early '40s, and it still runs beautifully i mean just look at that look at that sweep 40 beats a second that is really a, a nice really nice stopwatch so uh thanks for taking the time to look uh please uh subscribe and if you have any ideas for a show drop me a line so this is alex paul for talking time pieces have a nice day